Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. It is day 11 of my 12 days of Christmas Facebook Lives. There, I said it the right way. Only two days left, I can't believe it. It's gone by really, really fast. Um, I'm excited about today's projects and tomorrow's. I'm excited about my projects all the time normally, but today I really, really think you're gonna like this box. It's a little bit different than anything that we've done before. Hi, Carrie. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. All right, I am going to share you guys over to my other page. Make sure that I'm in the right place. I hope you guys are having a good day. I see that I typed wonders and wishes, but the bundle is called wishes and wonder. <laughs> ah, same thing. Okay, I hope you guys have had a chance to check the big year-end extravaganza. I'm going to show you, oh, I meant to, darn it, I meant to pull out my um, advent calendar. I have it in my kitchen, and I meant to bring it to show you guys. It's on clearance for $15, which is a huge discount. So I'm going to flip you guys around in a second. We're going to look at it. Um, I just want to remind you, this is day 11. I changed just one little thing for today. Instead of doing little treats, we're doing wishes and wonder, not wonders and wishes. <laughs> um, Nancy, you spent too much money this morning. I did too. I did quite a bit of shopping. You know what I bought today are the tins. The tins are, are going away and they're discounted heavily. And I bought a bunch of tins because I loved those tins. Um, it's a good sale. I don't know if our year in sale has ever been quite this good. Matched with a clearance sale at the same time makes it pretty darn amazing. Anyhow, so today is day 11. Tomorrow will be our very last day at two o'clock central. Um, I will have heartwarming hugs tomorrow and then we're done. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do the rest of December. Um, there will be no Facebook Friday this week. Um, this is taking the place of that. And next week, I'm just not sure what we're gonna do. I'm gonna start planning and see, okay? Patricia, you were up at 2.30 in the morning shopping. Wow, that's amazing. You must be a night owl. I am not a night owl. I do not do well <laughs> staying up late to shop. I make all kinds of mistakes. Okay, I'm gonna flip you guys around. Let's see, I'm gonna close your eyes. Hello, Melissa from Colorado. Oh, I love Colorado. So nice. All right, so hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, here we are. Okay, so before we start with the projects, I want you guys to know that I sent an email out, and you know what? Well, I don't even think you necessarily need the PDF anymore because now you can just go to the website and see what's on sale. I sent an email out last night to everybody on my email list with a link to this PDF that has everything listed in this catalog. And what I always like to do when the retired list or the um, year-end um, list comes out is I like to get a Sharpie and I just start going page by page and writing down what's retiring with a big R. This time, if it was discounted, I wrote what the discount is. So like the tag kit is 50% off. Now, granted, I did this last night at 10 o'clock in a dimly lit living room. So I could have made a mistake. So calm down if I made a mistake. You can go over to the website and double check me. This is the thing I really that really stood out to me, this um, kit. And I, oh, I wish I had pulled it out to show you guys because I have it in my kitchen right now. Um, this is 50% off, so it makes it $15, super duper cheap. Um, even if you have one for Christmas, you can buy it. They show here um, alternate projects. There's one for Halloween. There's one, you know, oh, wow, that even, I didn't even notice this is a storage, little storage drawers. That's a great idea. I've seen some people put Christmas on one side and Halloween on the other side. You can do all kinds of different things with this. So $15 for the whole kit is exceptional and i just checked right before we went on live and it's still available you got to remember that this stuff is clearance okay i mean uh while supplies last i just saw the clearance banner flash across my screen um but there's lots of things now there's a handful of things that are carrying over to next year's holiday catalog so for instance this paper and that's it on here this paper is carrying over to the holiday catalog the mini cut uh, coffee cups are carrying over to the annual catalog, but the coffee carrier is not. It's 50% off. It's not carrying over. So 
Anything that you don't see on that heart, I mean, on that um, carryover, um, what am I saying? Anything that you don't see on the year end sale, that means it'll be in either the holiday catalog next year or our annual catalog coming out in, the, in late spring, early summer. All right, so lots of goods. The wrap dies are carrying over to the annual catalog, but those are for the um, coffee cups. That bow punch that we just used a couple of days ago is 20% off. A lot of the dies are marked down. And look, I was really surprised about a lot of this stuff. So the paper, this is 50 off, 50 off, 30 off. Um, that makes it pretty like clearance prices, really. Poinsettia is carrying over to the annual catalog. The die, the nativity dies are 50% off. Um, the joy dies are 30% off. These are all things that we've used. Those, those um, ornament punches, 50% off. Um, the sweetest, sweetest borders dies are um, thirty percent off. So those are dies. If you necess didn't necessarily want the stamp set, the dies are, are something you could use without the stamp set. Um, so pretty cool. Um, foils carrying over the holiday catalog. I am shocked that this is not carrying over. This is probably my biggest heartbreak. That's not carrying over. I really, really thought that these would carry over because I think that these could be used all year. So if you haven't gotten the adorable coming home bundle, get it. The dies are 30% off. Our moose is retiring. Oh, I, that, that surprised me as well. Um, let's see. The paper that we're using today is 50% off. The, the bundle that we are using today is retiring. And let me see. What did I write down? The dies are 30% off. All right, the sounds of the season dies are 20% off. So you guys really should go through that. Th oh, I was going to show you. Let me show you over here. That's why I have my iPad over here. So when you go to the Stampin' Up! webpage, this is going to, it's either going to look like this or it's going to look like that or it's going to look like that. You know, it has one of these banners that switches. So if you tap on the year end um, closeout, you can scroll through here. Here's one thing I wanted to tell you. So like the poinsettia dies and the poinsettia petals will be in the annual catalog, but the bundle price will not. So the bundle, when you buy it as a bundle, it's saving you 10%. So if you want to get it and save the 10%, you have to get it before the end of this catalog. When it's in the next catalog, you won't be able to buy it at a 10% discount, okay? Um, same with Banner Year, Snow Wonder, um, my favorite leaves, the stitch leaves bundle, but then all these other things, um, are leaving. I can't believe it. I love this braided linen trim. I bought a bunch of that this morning too, for wrapping presents, the plaid tidings paper along with the, um, those, um, oh, what are they called? Stitch label. No, what are they called? Curvy. I can't remember. Curvy. Oh, I can't, suddenly I can't remember. Anyways, go through here. The little treat box die, that shocked me too. Go through here. Make sure that you've gotten everything that you want before celebration labels dies. I don't know why I was thinking stitched, curvy, I don't know. Anyway, those are leaving. Make sure you go through here and you check all of the things that you want. They're all while supplies last. Some of them will last until the end of the catalog. Some of them will not. I would think that the things are heavily discounted would probably... Um, sell out pretty quick. Now, the other part of this sale is the clearance rack. And the clearance rack is a lot of older stuff that has come back and is super, super cheap. So there are some blends on here that are the single blends. No, we're not getting rid of our blends. If you remember back in the last catalog, we sold our blends separately. So the light color and the dark color sold separately. So what I'm assuming these are are what's left of that inventory. Now they come together in a package um, sold together. So I'm assuming that these are what's left and they sell them individually. I'm gonna turn that pan down because I can see it's shaking the camera. I bought some of that Poppy Parade that's really good for wrapping presents. Um, there was something else on here. There, there was snail on here, the adhesive. If you like the snail adhesive, um, it was on here. Whoops, I'm not sure if it has sold out or not. Let's see. Look, the celebration paper is on here, right? No, that's not the, cel is that the celebration paper? No, no, that's not the celebration paper. 
That's the paper that looked like the celebration paper. Um, that peaceful poppy elements kit. I love that. Some punches. The heart foil tens, three dollars and sixty cents. I think those have been there for a while, but those are good. You you can use those about coming up on Valentine's. All right, so I wanted that washi tape, but it sold out. I put it in my cart, and then by the time I went to check out, it sold out. Snail, uh, sold out. Darn it. Well, that was a good deal, too. $2.80 for that. So anyway, make sure that you check both the year-end closeouts and the clearance rack. And if you're on here, if you click on those three little lines and you click sales and specials, there's the clearance right there and the giant year-end closeout right there, okay? So make sure you check them both out um, so that, you know, you get everything you want in one order. You don't have to pay shipping twice because I've done that. How many times have I done that? Many, many times because I'm not paying attention. Okay, so let me get this set up and we will get started. Um... Thank you. I, I know a lot of you have already shopped this morning, so thank you um, for that. I appreciate your shopping with me. You are on my list for the make and takes. This is our new host code right here. Um, this will carry through Monday at midnight. In all orders over $35 using this host code will earn um, three free make and takes. I put tape down today and I can see it. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it over on uh, on my iPad. My daughter is texting me TikToks from school. You know, Addie, you need to pay attention. Quit looking at TikTok. She sends me TikToks all day long. <sighs> that kid. Okay, so today we are going to make a box and a card using the Wishes and Wonder bundle. I mistakenly titled this post Wonders and Wishes. <laughs> That's okay. Oh wait, we gotta do prizes. Hold on, hold on. We'll come back to this. Let me do prizes. I picked two winners from yesterday. And my question was, what's your favorite Christmas song? And Marion Wilkins says, Wilkinson says chestnuts roasting on an open fire. That's a classic, yep. And then Robin C said Santa Baby. I love that song. I remember um, when I was a teenager this, album came out it was a Christmas album with all different pop stars and Madonna sang that song and I loved it so Robin I love that song too so congratulations I think I have both of your mailing addresses so unless it's changed don't worry about emailing me here comes Millie I'm babysitting my mom's dog today and they all seem to want to come in my office so if you hear jingle jangling You'll know. Not only do I have three dogs today, but I have a bonus dog. So I have four dogs today. And Millie thinks I'm talking to her. Okay, today's prize. I've got two Dove of Hope bundles. You guys, I have this and I have not used it. It's gorgeous. The dies are gorgeous and it's retiring. So if you would like to win this, go over to my blog, pinkbugroo.com. Scroll down about uh, two thirds of the way down. You'll see a link. Just click on it. And today's question is... What is your Christmas Eve tradition? What does your family do on Christmas Eve? So answer that question and you will be entered to win one of these bundles and I will um, pick a winner tomorrow right before I go live, okay? Alrighty, now we can go back to what we were doing. I've got a box and a card using the Wishes and Wonder bundle. This whole bundle, there's a lot of stuff that goes with this. There's two different sets of designer series paper. There's some memory and more cards which I have, I haven't even looked at them. I've got to bust those open and use them. Um, what else is there? There's ribbon, embellishments. Um, my favorite thing of, the, of this bundle is the deer dye. I really like it. Um, I've used it, I use this one to cut this one out and I use this one to cut this one out. Um, and then there's this great little tag dye here too. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Let's start with the box. This is a double hinge box that opens like that. And inside are the Elf on the Shelf Cake Bites. Have you guys seen these? These are from Walmart. And I looked up on Amazon to see if I could find a link and I could not find a link that looked like it was, <laughs> you know, sometimes products show up on Amazon and they're like sketchy and like $40 for cake bites. I think maybe there was one or two like that. And I didn't want to send you guys there. Just go to Walmart. You'll find them probably over in the, 
the bakery area is where they have them in mind. But anyway, these, they have these for different seasons and holidays. So this box could be used for anything. If you don't use it for Christmas, you can use it for the birthday cake bites, the Halloween cake bites, whatever. Or just put Hershey Kisses in here or whatever. Okay, I wonder what the um, Ghirardelli squares would look like in here. I have these here and I still haven't used them. They would fit nicely, wouldn't they? But you'd have to buy a lot. You could put a variety of things in here. That's like the perfect fit. Okay, so that will give you an idea. Whoops, that will give you an idea of what size this box is. Okay, let's go ahead and make the box first. All right, let me get it. Oh, go down in there. You're going to fold that side in first and then that side. All right, so let's make the box first. Let me get all of my pieces over here. And the measurements, you guys, are over on my blog. So don't feel like you have to write them down. They're all listed right under the um, photo of this project, okay? This first piece is real red, and it's 10 by 7 and a fourth. And we're going to score the long side at half an inch. Two and a fourth, seven and three fourths, and nine and a half. And then we're going to score the short side at half, two and a fourth, five, and six and three fourths. Now, you're also going to need two pieces of Whisper White Thick that measure six and a fourth by six and three fourths. And on the long side, we're going to score each of them at three and four and three fourths, and then one and three fourths, and four and a half. Okay, so you're gonna do that twice. This box does take three full sheets of paper. Um, so there's that, but it's so cute, right? I like, I like how it opens. Um, I've made a smaller version of this in a class before, um, so that it is possible to use less cardstock, but I was trying to make it so that we could get this um, elf cake bite thing inside. All right, I'm going to burnish all the lines first. Okay. I made this box specifically for the measurements of the cake bites, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to put the cake bites. This could even be a gift box, you know, for jewelry or some kind of small gift. All right, now there's a lot of trimming that we're gonna do, okay? The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna cut off these two on each corner. We're gonna do the same thing. So you cut off that one and that one, and then you're gonna come over here and you're gonna cut in, and then cut this one off, and then we're gonna cut this at an angle like that, okay? So the same thing over here, cut in, cut off, and while I'm at it, I'm gonna cut all the tabs at an angle, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that off at an angle. All right, like that. Now we'll cut these at an angle. All right, now over here to this side, we're gonna do the same thing cut these off and while we're at it we're cutting that at an angle cut cut that off and then the reason I cut these flaps at an angle is it just kind of reduces the bulk a little bit and helps our sides go over and fit together a little bit better all right so cut that at an angle cut that off that off. I'm going to lay it down here in just a second and if you're going to make one of these at home this is what I like to do. Oh I forgot to cut these at an angle. That way you can look. We're going to ignore the dogs barking in the living room. <laughs> there you go. So if you're if you're going to make this at home later you can pause the video. Can you guys see it all the way down there? Do I have it up far, far enough? Maybe I need to move my camera just a little bit like that. Okay. Okay, now these tabs here on the edge are gonna roll in. It's just creating a rounded edge of our box so that it's not, um, you know, 
a rough edge. It's going to be a rounded edge. So I'm going to put adhesive on the outside of these four squares. And then, if I can keep them from sticking to the table, I'm going to put adhesive on the inside of these four tabs. Okay, like that. Now, fold these in and over and match them with the edge right there. Fold that down, okay? Fold these over, match them with the edge, and fold them over. Hi, Laurie! And then you're gonna fold those in like that. So there, we've made a box that has rounded edges and it's nice and smooth and it looks really nice. And you're gonna, we're gonna put that in there like that, okay? Okay, now, for these other two pieces, let me get my bone folder again. One section is larger than the other section. The larger section is going to be the part that folds over the top of our box. So if you look at it, this section is larger than this. So remember, large goes on top, the smaller goes on bottom, okay? So now, over here on the bottom section, we're gonna completely cut off these squares. Okay, now I'm also gonna cut this at an angle right here. So it'll be completely hidden underneath our paper. And now I'm gonna take, <laughs> I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm basically gonna cut from this corner to the score line and then that score, that score line to the bottom corner. Okay, so start up here and cut that corner off and then come down here and cut that corner off. So you've made like this point and then I'm gonna snip that score line, okay? So let me do it again for you. Top, and if you want your, your sides to be perfectly straight, you can use your trimmer, like that, and like that, okay? So that's what it will look like. I'm gonna do the second one for you. I, if you wanna, if you're watching in the replay, you can pause. This is kind of um, over the top box. You will see why. Not only is the box a lot of steps, but I'm gonna do some embossing. I'm gonna do some background stamping. I just went all kinds of crazy with this box. You can simplify by doing less of that on the decorations. Okay. All right. From the top there and then here to there and cut. All right, so now we've got two of these and they're basically gonna go under our box like this, okay? And these are gonna fold up and over, okay? So now we're gonna adhere this to this. So I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive there and there, and I'm gonna fold the triangles up and into each other, putting a little one on the inside, okay? So stamp and seal plus here, and up and over. All right, now the last thing we're gonna do is put adhesive on these little leftover panels. Uh-oh, there's people in the cul-de-sac. You guys, there's this couple that walks through the cul-de-sac together holding hands super slow every few days. I'm not sure what it's about. And they're kind of, I don't know, like maybe my age. And they just are like creeping along, holding hands. I don't know, it's just weird. <laughs> so 
Sorry, neighbors. I don't know. I thought maybe it was some visitors once, but now I'm seeing them all the time. So that's why the dogs are like, who's out there? Okay, so now see how I adhered, adhered them? Is that a word? I affixed them to the bottom of the box. And we'll put that there. And then we close one side. You gotta make sure you adhere those triangles or they'll get caught on the side of that box. Mac, Mac, go outside, buddy. And there you go. All right. Are they gonna go outside? Hold on. need your barking. Nobody wants to hear that. Okay, and there's your box. See how it opens like that? And then it closes. That one keeps getting caught. I need to put a little more adhesive in there. Let's use this. You want to make sure that those triangles, oops, oh, did you see that? Look, I put glue right there. You want to make sure that those triangles are nice and flat. Okay, we're going to let that dry before I close it. Let me get a paper towel. Man, I hate getting Tombow on my fingers. It's so super sticky. Okay, while that dries, yes, Charlie, you're a good boy. You're not barking, are you? No. Mac is the one that usually doesn't bark. He's very agitated when Millie comes to visit. He just doesn't, he doesn't know what to do. So he's being a super grouch. Hey, enough. Mac, pop it. Go to your bed. Okay, oh my gosh, let's, let's finish. Let's finish this box. I have my favorite um, Buffalo Check background stamp. I think so too, Joyce. She says lots of steps, but worth it. I think so too, it's a really cute box. All right, I've got my Buffalo Check background stamp. No, okay, you wanna come back in? You guys, quit being so rude. Come on. And we're gonna ink it. <laughs> We're going to ink it up. The wheels are coming off. We're going to ink it up with Memento Black. All right. And we're going to stamp it on real red. And we're going to use this piece for both of our projects today. I hope I got my juicy Memento. I have a feeling this is the one that needs to be re-inked. We'll see. So, oh, well, Irene, yes, super glue is the worst. But this Tombow, ah, let me grab my other one. This is the one that needs to be re-inked. Tombow turns just like sticky. If you get it on your fingers, it's just like sticky and gross. Oh, now you're going to come in here, Mac? No, no, no. We don't need you in here. He's looking for food. That's why he comes in here. Okay. You know what, Tina? We have a dog door, too. We do. In and out, in and out, in and out all day. However, I'm at the front of the house. And if the, our front door has like that warped glass, that's not the right word, but you know the glass that you can't really see through, but you can see movement. So anytime any car goes around the cul-de-sac or whatever, or weird neighbors walk by super slow, holding hands, being weird, they go crazy because they don't know what it is. I don't know. It's it doesn't sound weird when I describe it, but if you guys would see, like, so slow walking. Like, you know, usually when people are walking, they're exercising, going fast, and not holding hands. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. And they're not teenagers. Like, you know, sneaking out. I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. Okay, anyhow. Have a sheet of real red cardstock. I'm going to cut it down. Let's measure and see how long this is. I'm going to cut a piece down that is about six, five and a half by one and a half. And then we're going to need this other piece over here. We'll use this to do our die cut, okay? So one and a half, we'll just cut off a one and a half strip over here. And then we're going to save this for the card. Okay, so we've got that. Now, I've already got all these pieces cut out, you guys, you know. Oh, no, I don't. I lied. I don't have the sprigs cut out, but that won't take very long. We also are going to need to cut out the deer. Man, I didn't do any of this ahead of time. I wanted you guys to stay with me for a really long time today. All right, we are going to, thanks, Carol. <laughs> Tina, yeah. I, we can't figure out if our dogs are dumb or just super smart and stubborn and like 
lady, I'm not doing what you're gonna what you're telling me to do. We can't we can't decide. You're either dumb or just really smart, and you know, like they're just not gonna conform. All right, so basic black, white craft ink, and white embossing powder. I love white ink, white embossing powder on black cardstock. It's the best. So let's hit that with a heat tool. <laughs> Lisa says hers is afraid of dewy grass and won't go. You know, our new puppy, who is almost a year old, we've had her since March. She was born at the beginning of January. She suddenly was peeing in the house last week when it was raining outside. And we realized it's because she hasn't seen rain. Like, I mean, it's maybe rained twice <laughs> since we've had her. And so she apparently is afraid of wet grass too. The things we do for our dogs, for our pets, crazy. All right, so that says, hi, Millie, she says. Who are you talking to? All right, so that says made in the North Pole. We're going to cut that out with that circle die. We're going to cut out our deer with this. And we're going to cut out some sprigs with the sprig die. I was going to use the baby cut and emboss machine, but since we have a lot to do, we'll put them all on here at the same time. All right, so Old Olive, we'll do Old Olive. And this is the brushed metallic cardstock. And let's see if I got it on there. You're right, Tina, they, they're very, very loyal and sweet. I agree. I know that's what I always say to my husband, especially about Charlie. Charlie's his dog, and Charlie's a grouch, grouchy old man who wants to eat everyone alive who comes to the door. But my gosh, he loves my husband so, so much. All right, now I'm going to cut the little sprigs from uh, Mossy Meadow. And there we go, there we go. And now I think we're ready to layer everything up. All right, move that out of the way. And let's bring everything over. I have cut a Whisper White um, label with the Tasteful Label dies. I'm gonna punch two ends of this with a triple banner punch. I have a scallop circle from our brushed metallic cardstock and we're going to start with this we're going to put this guy on the back the biggest one okay i'm going to put that right across then i'm going to put this label oops and we're going <laughs> to debbie poor charlie charlie gets a bad rap i know i know i'm going to put lots of dimensionals because we don't have to worry about postage on this now I have cut a piece of that designer series paper. Ooh, I think I will use the red this time. Um, this is from the uh, Wonders of the Season designer series paper. Did I say the right, did I say it? Is that the right name? I can't remember. It's listed on the blog. Your pound puppy's afraid of the rain, snow, and dark. He even hides behind me when I scold him. <laughs> Rhonda, he sounds like Charlie. Charlie is our pound puppy also. He came to us from a rescue group who said he was almost dead when they found him. He had been abused, and so he is. that's why he's scared, and that's why he's grouchy. But he's been with us for seven years. You'd think he'd be over it. Or eight years now. Almost eight years. <laughs> you know, I guess once they, once they become, you know, afraid, that's it. That, you know... You can't really un undo that out of them. Okay, now I'm going to take these sprigs. I'm going to put two up here like this. And I'm going to put, I guess, just one down here like that. And we're going to put that there. And then we're almost done with this two-hour project. Take some um, Playful Pets black and white twine. Okay. 
made a double bow there. And we will stick this on with our mini glue dots right about there. How cute. That would make a cute card too, right? If you just put that on a card, that would be cute. Okay, so now let's bring it over. Let's close it up. We want to just adhere this to this side so that when it opens up, you know, it opens like a, like a little bridge or whatever. So a few more. Tina, I'm in love with the Buffalo plaid too, the Buffalo check. I keep thinking, will I get tired of it? I just bought a bedspread for my bed, a uh, duvet cover that is Buffalo check. I'm, I mean, I, I don't know how much is too much. I haven't found, I haven't found what's too much yet. <laughs> All right, there's our project, you guys. That box is so fun. I encourage you to give it a try, even if you don't go as far as all the super layered decorations that I did. Um, it's a fun box and it's big. So you could fit some good stuff in there. Home, homemade, you know, cookies or brownies or whatever would fit nicely in here as well. All right, I hope you guys like it. It's cute, isn't it? I think that I need to make a smaller version of this box. Maybe we'll do that in January sometime. Whoops drop that. Okay, let's make the card. Oh, now, I did not pull out the embossing folder. I was going to do it, I was going to do it, and then I forgot. There it is. Okay, good. It's on the top. We're going to ink an embossing folder today. I don't know if you guys have ever inked an embossing folder. Our ink will just wash right off your embossing folder, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, I do it a lot. It might stain your embossing folder if you use a dark ink, but that doesn't bother me. I don't know. That I don't have a problem with that. Okay, let's see. Let me bring all my pieces over for this project. Charlie, you're being a good boy with Mama talking bad about you. Yes. He's just laying here all quiet. Okay, now for this card, we've done some of the things already, right? Did the buffalo check. Um, we're going to emboss these trees, and I don't think I put this on the supply list. I did not. I have to go add that. Um, I'm going to take my craft ink, and on the side where the trees are popped up, I'm going to ink it with my ink pad. Okay? I better put this down. I'm going to put this down and do it over here. Whoa! I just shook you guys like crazy. Sorry. All right. I'm just gonna tap it all over. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Just like this, okay? A little Dawn dish soap when you're done. Or you can be like me and just throw it back in the drawer and clean it the next time you need it. Cause that's what I did. The ink from last time is still there. I'm such a messy stamper. Okay, let's look at it. There, so it put a little bit of that white on there. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so while we're here, let's, I've gotta put this plate back on here if we're gonna use this. Let's cut out our, our tag. Okay, that cute little tag. This tag would be great for gift tags, for your gifts. Okay, so there we've got that, which I did a little bit crooked. We're gonna pretend like I didn't do that. I'm just gonna ignore it because most of it's gonna be covered up anyway. Let's stamp our deer in memento black on crumb cake. Bring this back over. Put this, so there are two different deer die. This one cuts out the stamped image and the other one cuts an embossed deer image like this one right here. So you don't have to use a stamp with it, okay? And I just stamped him on crumb cake so we didn't have to color him. All right, I think I'm done with the cut and emboss machine. Let's bring it all over. I did this time cut out the sprigs ahead of time. Oh, man, that's so crooked. Oh well. All right, now where is our punch? I wanted this to be a little, this tag to be a little bit longer. So I'm gonna add in here a piece of real red 
that I have punched um, with a banner, triple punch. And I'm just gonna kind of put it down below like that. Like that, okay? And then we are just ready to layer it up. Like that. And then I have punched that same beautiful designer series paper that is on sale. I punched a two and a fourth inch circle. Okay, and we'll put our deer right here in the middle, like that. I'm gonna take some sprigs, and I should have done these before, before I put the circle down, but that's okay. I can make it work. I'm gonna put a few like that. How many do I, did I put? Two on each. All right, I like the shorter ones. Millie, your, your collar is so noisy. We're gonna talk to Jamma about that. Jingle jangle all the time. Yes, I'm talking to you. I see you. You coming in here and winning some cookies? All right, put that there. And we're gonna add a bow. Where's my bow? This is that braided linen trim. Yes, um, Denise, I was gonna use my mini cut and emboss machine um, with these dies, but I needed to cut a bunch a minute ago, so I decided to stick with the big guy today. I could get more to fit on the plate when I use the big guy. And my embossing folder wouldn't fit in it. All right, so we've got our braided, real red braided linen trim, love it. And now let's put it on our soft suede card base. And we're gonna stamp the sentiment on the inside. Okay, like that. And then I've got this whisper white piece and I've got my sentiment and we'll just stamp it. You know what, I didn't stamp the other, and let me think about this. Hold on, let's do this. Let's stamp the deer. I'm gonna stamp off, and let's put him down here like that, light. And then we'll stamp this across right there. We have a wonder of Christmas stay with you throughout the year. Okay, right like that. You can even color him with your blends. All right, there we go. Very pretty. Bringing in that buffalo check, red and black, really goes well with these deer, don't you think? All right, you guys, day 11, we're done. We've got two wishes and wonder projects. Make sure you hop over to my blog. I'll update the video here when I'm done with all the links. Go over there and find the link to enter for the um, bundles I'm giving away tomorrow. And then join me tomorrow at 2 o'clock for our day 12, our last day of 12 days of Facebook Lives. Thanks, guys, for joining me today. I appreciate it. And I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget to check out the sale before everything's gone. Bye, guys.